Hello, everybody, and welcome to Alicia's Creative Paradise. I'm Alicia, and I'm so happy to be here today to show you my September design team journal for Sweet Pea Curiosities, and um, I'll link the kit below that I chose, and let me just get right into it. And so I've done a lot of collaging with this one and um, used the mushrooms in the kit, cut them out of the pages and just went ahead and collaged them all on the front. I've cut out pieces that I found in the kit and just did a whole collage on this front part with little pieces of um, um, doilies and things like that, fabric doilies, put some little stones in there for some bling, and a little bit of deco foil. Hope you can see all that as I'm moving it around. Um, also, I've also painted on the cover with some gold and platinum and some uh, metallic green. And here's the back. You can see that shiny platinum. And then here's the green and the gold. This is gold. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. And that's the green. And there's plaid in this kit, which I really, it that's what really caused me to want to get it, is the plaid. And so I put sweater weather back here. She has these words in there. And I fussy cut the little squirrel and some ticking fabric and so this is made from a recycled Amazon package I just love those Amazon packages so also on here is some little stones I don't know if you can see them they're right there you can barely see them but those I got at Dollar General and this is what they look like. They're in, let's see if I can, well I use these, I believe I got these at Michael's. I really like these a lot, the gold. <clears throat> but they, these are <clears throat> at Dollar General. I really like these, these are some of my favorites, so I got two packs of these, but I didn't use any in this journal. But I got these and the sticky didn't work on this. It's supposed to come off with the silver to, to put behind the jewel to make it more shiny, but these were coming apart. And so what happened was it made them clear. You can see that and they're not sticky on the back. So I had to peel it apart and glue it on. I really like the way it looks though. It kind of reminds me of candy, like lemon drop candy, but so they're not as shiny as they would have been. That's okay. I'll still use them anyway. I guess they're, you know, they're cheap. They're from the dollar store, but that's okay. I'll make it work. Um, here is the inside cover. I've collaged all over it. I've sewn around the edge. Um, I folded the envelope up and made a pocket on the, the inside cover front and back. And here's some of the pieces. Here's one of those plaid tags. I really love the plaid. It just really gets me in the, the mood for fall. Here's a recipe page a bit from a vintage book. Here's this uh, index card I printed on the back. And there's you get jars in there. And then I've used the various pockets. And this is one of the pages. You'll see the pages and so kind of an abstract tag. You get circle ta uh, tags there. And you can see where I took and fussy cut these uh, corners off of these pages and I put them on the front. I really like the way those look. You get little tabs. And here's one of the pages. And then here's just an envelope that I've made it's out of a kind of a parchment paper 
with a little bit of shine to it, I think. I got that from the thrift store. Here's another tag, and I just put music paper on the back. You get these little file uh, folders in there. Here's another envelope. You put something in made out of music paper I printed on. And one of the pockets. I put some lace on the edge of some of the pages. This is one of my favorite pages. It looks like an autumn scene with the home. Kind of gives you the impression there's a fireplace going. I really like that. And I put chili right here. Here's another one. Let me see, make sure I'm in frame here. Okay, there we go. Uh, here's another tag, some coffee dyed paper, a doily, and one of the pockets. Here is some tracing paper that I dyed with coffee and food coloring. I thought that went good. This is one of her other digitals that she has in her shop. So she's got receipts and old vintage letters. So I put one of these in here. There are a couple of them. Here's one of the pockets, the plaid pockets. And I just put some little tags in there. There's this one, some ledger uh, book. This is from one of her other kits that she has. And this is one of my dyed papers. Copy dyed notebook paper. Here's some craft paper. There's another one of the pages here. Here's another envelope made out of music paper. And here's some of the, the jars that you get. I just printed them out and put craft paper on the back and made it like a secret writing space. And two of the corner pockets in here. Here's another file folder. You get the grandma and grandpa picture on that one. Here's another one of these. It's printed on parchment paper. And of course I added a couple of butterflies in here. There's that little squirrel. Some more dyed paper. Here's another tag. Another one of the pages. Harvest Blessing. I really like this. It's like a mug with a pumpkin, a clove. It's really pretty. I'm just fussy cut that out. Here's another tag. Here's another one of the plaid pockets. There's some of the ephemera in there. The Coffee dyed paper. Here's another one of the pages. There's Grandma and Grandpa. A butterfly doily. Some lace. And here's the back. <clears throat> here's another file folder. Fall breeze. I thought this um, words uh, went well with <clears throat> this page here with the blowing leaves. And here's the back. There's that house again. I just fussy cut one of those out and put it back here. Flannels, boots, and bonfires. There's this one. I love this color. There's this. And this. And so here it is. My September design team journal. I love the way it came out. I hope you like it too. Um, so like, share, subscribe, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll be back with another video soon. Bye.